As a self-proclaimed all-around nerd, I love sci-fi. Now, a lot of people, they just leave it at the fi. They love fi. They love the fiction. They love things that aren't real. But you see, me, I really like the sci. And oftentimes, the superhero subgenre of being a nerd kind of ignores the sci. Lots of fi. Very little sigh. So anyway, I've had a couple of drinks and this video is gonna be about superheroes that couldn't exist in the real world and ones that could. Now that may confuse you. I can hear you asking, but superheroes aren't real. There are people that believe in a guy that walked on water and turned water into wine. Please let me have this. Now there are superheroes that absolutely could not exist. For instance, Spider-Man. I can believe that he can climb walls. I can believe in the super strength, but my problem is with the, with the, we with the webs, right? Do you know how fast a real spider shoots its webs? See how fast does a spider shoot its webs? Okay, I'm gonna rely on this very trusted source, Cora. 28.8 meters a second. And if you're like me, you're now currently Googling how many feet per second that is. That's 94 FPS. Now you imagine that a spider is like one, it's like, it's like not that, let's, okay, so I'm, I'm gonna suit, rough estimate, let's say it takes a thousand spiders. Doing really shitty math that I'm sure is not accurate. Spider-Man being like a thousand times the size of a spider, would shoot it a thousand times as fast, right? I told you I really love the side part of this. Anyway, if you drop a penny from the top of the Empire State Building and it hits someone on the head, it will go straight through the skull and kill them. You want me to believe that Spider-Man can shoot a web out of his arm and it's not just impaling people, shooting straight through them and killing them instantly? No, absolutely not. Spider-Man is not real. He does not follow the side. The other one that's always made me mad is Iron Man. You want me to believe that there is a guy who is super rich and he's obsessed obsessed with, I don't know, let's energy science and automation and AI. It's hard to believe, but I, okay, I, I, I can see that. So then he builds his own super suit and it doesn't malfunction and it makes him a superhuman. Wouldn't you say that's a lot harder than maybe like, I don't know, making self-driving cars that don't want to murder people. So no shot. I do not believe that. Now, Batman, I do believe Batman is real. I believe that there is a rich dude who thinks he is above the law, takes it into his own hand and just kind of trauma dumps all over everybody. I, I Now that I agree with. That I can get behind. That follows the side. Or like Superman, you want me to believe that some guy who has this incredible strength is morally upright and doesn't kill people? That doesn't follow human psychology. That That's a no from me. Or Mr. Fantastic, you want me to believe that there is a guy who can make himself longer at will? <laughs> That guy would be taken captive and we would experiment on him just so that we could get a pill that you could take to make it longer for like, you know, for when you want to reach shelves that are really high up or like the flash. Now let's look at it this way. Either he is moving super fast and every bone in his body is being shattered by the G forces or he exists outside of time and moves faster than everybody. At which point he would also be processing the world around us way faster. So he would speak faster than Light. He would think faster than life. Wouldn't he also age at the speed of light? Well, not the speed. You, you know what I mean? Like he would age really fast too. There's no way the Flash could ever be real. Don't give me this speed force bullshit. Grant Gustin, you're you're done. Your show is finished. Or what about Wolverine? My problem is that he's got like three knives, right? And he never has to sharpen them. That's just that's just not possible. Now, if it was Wolverine with like three butter knives and he's like having trouble slicing zucchini really thinly, now that now that I would believe. But you want me to believe that there's a guy who has three knives on his arms and he never has to go to Costco for a cheap sharpening. There's, there's no way. Maybe they don't show it. And then I'd say, okay, believable. But yeah, no way Wolverine exists. Or what about Scarlet Witch? Scarlet Witch, right? Girl who says she's a witch who buys crystals. I'm with you so far, but then can change reality at will? You know, I strive for a future where women can change reality itself, okay? I really do, I'm a great guy. You know what, I'm actually, I'm gonna flip that. I, I do believe in a world where Scarlet Witch can exist. Or like the Winter Soldier, you want me to believe that there is a war veteran with a disability that the government actually gave a job to? <laughs> Oh, they hate those guys. Now, I did make a list of superheroes that I think could exist. I think Daredevil could exist. There are people that can hear songs once and completely replicate them on the spot. So I definitely believe that there could be a ninja who uses echolocation. That's a clear logical step. Or what about Cyborg? I mean, we have Neuralink, right? And that's been pretty successful in its testing. 
Okay, so maybe not cyborg, but black canary. My mom used to be able to incapacitate people with her yelling. So if she started using that power for the greater good, oh, a different world we would live in, a different world. Or black panther, somebody took a substance which suddenly gave them super speed, super strength, and it's it's just meth, isn't it? It's 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 bath salts or meth. On the same vein of performance enhancing drugs, what about Professor X? That just feels like a neurodivergent icon in today's world. How do you know that if you stopped taking your Adderall right now, you'd be able to hear other people's thoughts, okay? Professor X clears in my book. Hawkeye, same vein as Daredevil, he's a savant. I mean, Katniss Everdeen was basically him and she's real, right? Booster Gold, somebody that's convinced everybody that they're a superhero, but it's actually a rich dickhead from the future? 100%. I mean, look at Tom Cruise. Booster Gold is basically just Tom Cruise in the body of Will Neff, but you know. Captain America, again, it's just bath salts. Hulk, shouldn't have to say it. And I definitely believe groups like the X-Men are actually pretty based in reality. The moment humans found out other people had superheroes, we would definitely be racist. But you want me to believe that every time somebody gets like a bunch of money, they're also super smart and then uses their money for the greater good of humanity? <laughs> Again, that's great for the fly, does not follow the sigh. Anyway, that's my rant. What superheroes do you think absolutely could not exist? Or what superheroes do you think, yeah, they, they, they probably exist right now? Let me know in the comments down below, but I've gotta get going. I've got an appointment with Captain America and Bruce Banner, if you know what I mean.